Hey, what's up? This is Christopher. All right, so I have another Final Cut Pro 10 Basics for Beginners. I mean, in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, sound clips and sounds that you can add to your project, to your video, to make it stand out. Uh, what I have up here on the screen is poor quality, something that I just downloaded off YouTube really quick. And uh, it's a little kid getting hit in the face with a plastic baseball bat. So let me just play the clip one time. I have the audio muted. But just to give you an idea, the little boy, he throws the ball right here, boom, and he hits him in the head. All right, so right there when he got hit, we could add a little blooper, a little sound effect. And that's what this video is going to show you how to do. Now, before we get started, uh, I want to mention really quick, first thing, let me open up the um, this panel over here. And I have my sounds. If you don't, if you go up here in the middle where it says show or hide photos and audios. So right here I have sound effects and you have a drop down menu right here and you can scroll up and down. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with the trackpad instead of a mouse just so it doesn't make the clicking noise. You have all these jingles, you have all these little sounds, different textures, uh, ambient noises. You'll see Final Cut Pro sound effects, iLife sound effects, sound effects. I have some third party ones in here, such as this M glitch. So if you do not see this, when you click on sound effects, come up here where it says Final Cut Pro and click on that. And then right here it says download additional content. Go ahead and click that. I'm not sure if it opens up the app store, it does for me, but I think because I already have the content installed, it's just opening up the app store. But I think that it should take you to a link where you could download all the sounds if you did not do this when you initially installed Final Cut Pro 10 on your Mac. So once you download all those assets or whatever, they're gonna come back in here and then tap show the photos or audio sidebar, and then you're gonna click sound effects. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we are going to look for, let's see, for this particular video, I'm gonna go with the folly. And let's listen to some of these different sound effects right here. Let me get some sound. Uh, we don't want that. I want the blooper, like a cartoon. Oh, I know what it is. It's not in folly. I think it is in, hold on one second. Let me go to this folly right here. And nope, let me just do a search cartoon. It's not coming up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit effects and then I should find the one that says cartoon right here. Cartoon accent. Oh, this one. Or all right, so what I'll do is let's find the section on the clip right where the boy gets hit. And on your keyboard, you have the left, up, down, and right arrow. So you're going to keep tipping one at a time. And you'll notice down here, underneath the video, you'll notice that it's moving frame by frame. Boom, right about there. So I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the playhead right where it is. I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to bring it right to the playhead where it turns yellow and then just drop it down. Now let's back up and let's watch this when it plays. <laughs> See, and then I can add the audio from the clip back. So let me tap V. So now we'll play it with the, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the audio that is on the video and then leave the boing the same. So let's play this now. You, you, can, you can throw it to back up. <laughs> so that's how you add little sound effects to your clip or whatever to make your video stand out to people who are watching it. Now you have a ton of different sounds in here. You have jingles. One thing I want to mention, all this stuff that comes from Final Cut Pro 10 is uh, royalty free. So you can use this on YouTube and you're not going to get like a copyright strike or anything. And they have some nice little jingles in here. So let's scroll back. Uh, let's go all the way back to the top here. So you see right here, two minutes and 16 seconds, right up here under the time. Uh, you have one that's one minute and 32. Now these are not some of the best uh, jingles or whatever, but if you need something short, just for some background music, you can add it. Let me play Peach Cobbler here. All right, that's about Fifth Avenue Stroll. 
What about Spacey Club? What about Acoustic Sunrise? All right, let's look up some of these other, what about weapons right here? All right, so we have Military Battle World War II. This is a minute and 37 seconds. What about the, uh, let's go with the gun hand shot. And how about the gun M16 machine gun shot. What about sword? So you get the idea, you have a ton of different sounds in here that you can use and you're just going to have to scroll through the drop down here and find one that suits your need. What about theme music? Let's see, let's check out this modern. So that doesn't sound too bad. Not all, Some people complain about these like, oh, they're cheesy or whatever. But uh, mostly if you just want the little bloops or the bloopers or you just want to add some type of background sound effect to your clip or whatever, there's a lot in here that you can use. Of course, you could use third-party uh, plugins or third-party sounds as well. And I actually have some right here. I have this M-Glitch sound effect that actually came with a plugin called M-Glitch for Final Cut Pro 10. But I use these a lot in my videos. Uh, if you've watched any of them, I use them on the outro. So you'll kind of see where I do the little transition where it's like the rainbow color transition. And then I'll add normally this glitch sound right here at the end of almost every one of my videos. Or I'll add this one. Nope. Uh, this one or this one are the two that I use. Now I have some longer ones in here like this one. And see, these are cool too, like if you want to use them for a title sequence like or a title at the beginning of your video, maybe you have some kind of little glitch title and you want to add some kind of little background music to it when it's like flashing up on the screen. So you could use some of these sound effects, you know, in your project. Maybe not this particular one, since this is a third-party plugin that I bought that included these sound effects. So this is Sound Effects in Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave that below. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. What is up, dude?